Most people riding the rails in the UK are commuting to work or heading to see loved ones. But every now and then, another kind of train rolls by, one you're not likely to notice. And for good reason. These are nuclear trains. Silent, secured and often travelling under the radar, they carry some of the most sensitive materials in the country, including plutonium and enriched uranium. At the heart of this story is Doonry, a now decommissioning nuclear site on Scotland's northern coast. Back in the day, it was the epicentre of the UK's Fast Breeder Reactor Programme, an ambitious plan to generate more nuclear fuel than it used. That programme ended in 1988, but over 40 tonnes of nuclear material remained. Today, the UK's Nuclear Decommissioning Authority, or NDA, has a plan. Move that material 500 kilometres south by rail to the Sellafield Reprocessing Plant in Cumbria. About 50 shipments are planned over five years. The idea? Reprocess or dispose of the plutonium and uranium safely and reduce long-term risk. But not everyone is convinced. Seven Scottish councils, from Edinburgh to Dundee, have raised the alarm. They argue this plan breaches environmental principles, raises the risk of terrorist attacks and could lead to more radioactive discharges from Sellafield. George Reagan, a councillor from Dundee, put it bluntly, I'm very worried about the movement of such sensitive materials across Scotland to Sellafield. The concern? These trains could be vulnerable targets. Some fear a dirty bomb scenario or sabotage. Councils argue the material should be treated as waste and immobilised at Donry instead. The NDA strongly disagrees. They claim the safety record for nuclear transport is, quote, well proven, with over 60 years of incident-free shipments across the UK. The materials, they say, are only lightly irradiated, no armed guards needed, transport is governed by strict international standards, Flasks are built to survive collisions, fires, even being submerged underwater. And the projected cost? £60 million, compared to £65 million if the material stays put. On the surface, it's a logistics issue, but look deeper and it's a national conversation about nuclear responsibility. Do we centralise hazardous materials or contain them where they were created? Is it safer to move nuclear material to a single secure facility, or does every mile travelled increase the risk? With decades of safe transport history, have we grown too confident, or are our fears outdated? And as the UK moves toward net zero, should nuclear energy and its legacy still play a role in that future? You learned something new today, or just found this story as fascinating? and slightly chilling. As we did, drop us a like, hit that subscribe button and share this with someone who loves trains or atomic history. We post videos exploring the untold stories shaping our world, from science and engineering to energy and environment. Please remember to like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. And remember, not all cargo is created equal. Did equal.